Good morning everyone, it's Nicole Slater here on day number 27 and I'm very excited, um, first of all, for just this whole journey and the fact that I only have you know three more to go is amazing to me. So um, again, appreciate you being here and let's get this thing going. All right, it's out already. Um, so the idea for today is, again, I, I'm happy with the journey so far and I like the um, pieces that I have been working on. And so I'm not going to fix what's not broken. I'm, I'm going forward with the same idea. And again, just expressing a feeling. I don't know why, but I keep thinking I want to, and again, it could change. I'm going to start, but for some reason, I'm thinking of putting in some trees today. So we will see. Um, I guess a part of me likes the idea of the trees. Um, and a part of me sometimes puts it off because with these with these paintings, trees are hard because you have to kind of layer. Um, I'm not sure what kind of trees those are going to be though, but it, it's hard because I'm layering wet on wet, and I and I need to have enough um, idea as to what I'm painting before it's applied. And with these pieces, I've been very intuitive with them, meaning I'm coming in kind of not knowing each day what I'm doing and not really planned. They're very expressionistic. They're coming out from within my mind and my dreams and just the feeling of just wanting to paint. So um, sometimes with trees, I feel um, not as comfortable with them, I guess I would say, or I feel like I need to pre-plan them a little bit just because they have, they're taller and they, they layer upon each other. And so it does take a little bit of a different, um, planning, I believe. Um, I could be wrong, but that's in my mind, that's what I think. Um, okay, so again, I'm just kind of laying in some color here. And this is where, if I'm doing trees, and you know, I'll probably have them coming forward. We will see. I'm not sure what I'm doing yet. Um, but I like the, the color palette. I used a little bit of my violet and um, Prussian blue. And now I'm kind of working in some back color. Um, probably get some hill or mountains in here if I'm going with the tree idea. Um, but again, I want to keep these pretty simple, so I'm not going to overdo these. I'm just going to keep it really, really simple because that's kind of what I've been enjoying about these paintings. So that's what I'm going to do. And um, I'm going to work my way forward. So as far as like the the mood that I want. Um, I'm kind of going for a cooler day maybe is what I'm thinking. Maybe it's a little cooler out. I don't know why. I always think of, and I, it must be because of, as a child I always went into the, into the uh, higher elevations during the winter. So in the snow and that kind of thing. So intuitively I just go a little darker with things when I think of um, trees and, and the forest and that kind of thing. Not sure if this can be necessarily a forest, but okay. And again, I'm changing my brush just because of time and because I don't have time to clean it on video. But um, sometimes I I would work in um, clean and use the same brush, but for time reasons, I'm going to change mine out. So kind of a feeling maybe of a trunk here. I don't know. We'll see. Um, and then maybe I can put some grasses and some other things in here. So when I paint, a lot of times it's with intuition. And we talked about this. Um, it's a, a feeling more than it is a, or even a, I guess I could say a desire. It's, it's not a, I'm painting this for anyone. I'm painting it truly for me. So a lot of times when I do paintings, I don't really say it's going to be for anyone except for what's going to make me happy. So the the beauty of that is if I have a painting that doesn't sell, I have a painting that I enjoy. So that's cool. Um, then the, I guess the negative would be if I were painting things that aren't sellable imagery or something like that, that could be, I think, a, a, a problem, a little bit of a deterrent as far as, you know, if you want to sell your art. Um, so I do kind of sometimes keep that in the back of my mind. Um, 
but it's not it's not all I think about and and you know there was times when I was doing that for galleries and I would just paint what they wanted me to paint and you know that that gets old really quick and you find that it's not what you're setting out for and it can get at times it can get frustrating and um, because you you want to express who you are, that's why you're that's why you do art a lot of times, or at least for me, um, that was the whole reason because it's an expression of who you are, you know. And if you're if you're painting something for someone, you can still change it up and kind of make it your own. We you know we all do that. Um, it almost be hard not to, but sometimes you would find yourself going, well, I don't know, she likes blue, and then, but it, the painting needed blue, and I thought, what, why, why am I changing that? What, you know, that's silly. So those are all things that you want to think about, you know, when you're, you know, are you being true to, you know, really what you need to be doing? So again, I don't know if this is even going to turn out. We're going to find out. I wouldn't say it's not going to turn out, but um, I don't know. We're going with the tree idea, and that's what I'm doing here. So um, and again, I'm not painting perfect trees. I'm just having the expression of a tree here. And if I wanted a perfect tree, then I would need to, um, you know, maybe go outside and really sit there and analyze them. I know what they feel like. I've seen them a lot. I've been around this world for quite a few years. Um, and the whole idea or the principle to expressing my art is that I am doing expressionistic paintings. And so it's the expression of how I envision them. That's the nice thing about this kind of work is it's just what I see. And hopefully in turn, someone else can relate to that, which is always a cool thing. I talked a little bit on camera the other day about, it's like a kinship. It's where you, you learn, you learn that there's people out there that have a similar thinking as you, or I wouldn't say necessarily thinking, but a vision. And if that vision is also theirs, then it's a cool thing because then you have this connection. You have an automatic connection. And when you have a connection, then you also have a client. And when you have a client, you also have a friend and you have someone that you just really can, um, just really enjoy what you're doing and know that your painting isn't, in vain and that you're just really truly painting because it is bringing other people joy also so that's really cool um, and that's the other thing I liked about working with the clients directly you do get some feedback from you know family and I love it when I get pictures sent to me of their art hanging in their homes that's really cool it's pretty special so again, I'm just kind of adding this of fun color in here and um, working in my purples, cooler colors, because I'm thinking again, maybe, I don't know, maybe there's a little bit of, I don't know, maybe there's a little bit of snow or maybe it's just the reflection of the, probably just the reflection of the, um, just the flowers and the, the air and the sky. And so I'm just, again, having fun. But definitely, I you know set out to have kind of a tree idea and it's kind of going that way so that's cool um doesn't always work out that way and i was prepared for that and this is where i don't get too bogged down in detail and i'll probably get a bigger brush to do some manipulating and merging colors and so forth and um but in the meantime i'm going to apply some of these trees in here and uh, see where this takes us. So I'm envisioning these being pretty simple. And and as obviously as I'm getting back, they're smaller. So I need to get kind of real tiny back here, almost almost non-existent. But but they will be there. Just. Maybe a, a few little shapes here and there. And since I am working on a smaller scale, the paintings that I'm doing here, they're an eight by six. So um, that format is pretty small. And I'm getting quite a bit of information in here for that small of a piece. Um, 
but I'm trying to keep them pretty simple lately because I what I found is that I actually like them a little more simple some people like more the detail so every person is different um, but for me right now that's what the direction I'm kind of going in so I'm going to keep that going and uh, continue this journey here and uh, so I'm getting, you know, getting close to where I, I feel happy with the overall layout, the feeling and the mood. Um, and off camera, I'll take it away. Actually, in this case, I might leave the camera on. I usually try to turn it off just because I can focus a little more. And I would recommend that as an artist, you know, step back from your work a little bit and um, take it in. Maybe not even right away. So kind of afterwards, take it in and live with it for a day or two and then you can always come in and add and take away and and uh, change some things it's interesting because sometimes i'll wake up and kind of be thinking oh that that painting wasn't so great and then the next day it's like wow did an elf come in here and paint that because i really enjoy it the next day so it could be an attitude sometimes we just have that just a you know a little bit of a jaded attitude that day and so that's the other thing I want you to think about too is you know if you're hungry or if you're tired or you just mentally had something happen or so keep that in mind that sometimes that can really alter your view of your art and um, try not to let it if you can or or at least choose to do it later um, okay so this looks good put a few more in here I guess I would say this is like an open valley with maybe some trees. So it's not really like a forest. I would say it's more of a, um, more of a, like an open valley with some trees in the valley. Is that how I would envision this? But of course, you know, everyone's, everyone's view is different. Um, I had someone the other day say something about I can't remember what it was. It was a paint I had done. I'm going to use this as an example. I don't know if this was the one, but it was like grapes, but because it was on a smaller scale, they thought it was um, like almond trees or something. And I thought when I looked at it overall, the shape actually does kind of have, if you look at almond trees and if you were to shrink them down, you know, I could see how they could have almost the grape, grapevine shape or something like that. So I could definitely say that would be um, scene from that point of view so I'm just gonna get some rock formations in here or at least what I'm envisioning as a rock formation and um, and again I'm trying not to get too bogged down in detail but I definitely want to get something that has that feeling of that shape in here and um, maybe a couple back in here not happy with that brush, I'm gonna grab a different one. And again, the whole idea of this is texture, color, and just getting that mood in here. So um, that's what I'm kind of doing now. And I think I wanna get more, more purple in here. There we go. Okay, so. Yeah, this is cool. And then I will get a little bit more rock or idea in here because rocks actually you know they're minerals so they they take on kind of that some are in the gray family some have more brown I'm kind of doing the ones that are a little bit more of the gray white family in this part and um, just playing with the paint just getting some little pieces in here and it's easy to get kind of bogged down, so I'm noticing I'm putting in all these little tiny de details I probably don't need to do. So I'm going to just do a couple more and be done with this one. And um, and I've just learned that sometimes you just have to, you know, quit and continue on in a different direction as far as, you know, maybe I need to stop and do bigger skill things or maybe I need to um, work on the sky. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just going to finish this one area back here and get my big brush out, manipulate it, and I'll put these on my website and on my blog so you can check them out and maybe see the video a little closer. Um, I, 
I pulled it a little bit away today just so that people can see more detail. I mean, yeah, more detail of the workspace as opposed to the painting part. And, um, and because we're getting close to the end of this challenge, I'm just, again, want to thank you so much for being here. And it's been such a an amazing thing for me to just see how many people are cheering me on. It's pretty pretty darn cool. And I, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Okay, very good, you guys. I'm excited. I will get these out on my site so you can check them out. Thank you again for being here. I will see you tomorrow. And... Um, and I'm I'm really I'm excited about this one. This actually turned out really cool. And uh, see, you never know until you try. All right, take care, you guys. Bye. Okay, hey everyone, thanks again for being here. I finished up my day and I'm super excited to share this with you. The valley floor with trees. That's what I ended up doing. And the takeaway would be again, I've never done that before with the valley floor and I really enjoyed it. So I would say, you know, paint, don't be afraid to paint a subject you haven't painted and just set forth that you're just going to do a great job and have a positive attitude and and just have fun and, and it'll turn out it'll, it'll be probably your favorite painting so take care and uh, seek those rewards from the heart and just let yourself paint what you desire talk to you soon bye